In this worked example, we're going to look at how one can relate spectra to colors as seen by the human eye. Now, a spectrum is a plot of energy per unit wavelength or flux per unit wavelengths against wavelength. The human eye cannot see spectra. The human eye just picks up light in three different wavelength ranges. Roughly speaking, something between about 400 and 500 nanometers is perceived as blue by the human eye. If something is between about 500 and 600 nanometers, roughly speaking, it's perceived as green. And if it's between 600 and about 750, it's perceived as red. Now these boundaries are not exact. So for example, light at this wavelength will certainly be perceived as blue, but it'll still have a little bit of blue sensitivity down there. So in fact, there's a curve of sensitivity versus wavelength that looks something like that. And there's overlaps. There are wavelengths in the middle which are picked up as a bit of red and a bit of green. But roughly speaking, that's what's going on here. OK, so let's take an example. Let's imagine we want to work out what green trees would look like if they were on a planet orbiting a red dwarf star. So you have a reflection spectrum for chlorophyll, and this is going to look something like that. So chlorophyll reflects light very strongly at green wavelengths and only very weakly at blue and red wavelengths, which is why it looks green. So that's the reflection as a function of wavelength of chlorophyll. A red dwarf star that that has a spectrum that looks something like this. That is to say, it emits lots of light at red wavelengths and not much anywhere down here. If you bounce light with the spectrum of something with a reflection like that, what you're going to get is the multiplication of these two things. So you're going to get something that looks like this. So down at these wavelengths, the red wavelengths, chlorophyll doesn't reflect very much, but there's a lot to reflect, so it still gets a reasonable amount of flux. Down here, it reflects a lot, but there isn't much to reflect, so it drops off. And down here in the blue, there's absolutely nothing, because it neither reflects nor is there any light to reflect. So it turns out, if you do the detailed calculation, the peak is out here in the red. But it's still pretty low, because there's no wavelength which it both reflects well, and there's lots to reflect. So that tells you right away that green leaves are going to look very dark, almost black. And what colour they do have is going to be some sort of mixture of green and red, which is going to be a sort of yellowish, yellowish, reddy sort of colour. So it probably looks like a dull brown or something like that.